Today we're going to take a look at an extremely effective play out of the shotgun split offset formation, which as you know, is probably my favorite formation in the entire game. This is a play that I've actually been meaning to show you guys all year long, and slot seam is a play that is just very difficult to defend, especially if you're using halfback screen and mesh, the plays that I've shown you guys over the last couple weeks. If you mix in the halfback draw, you've literally got a four play mini scheme that you could run all game long and grab a W. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the setup. So first things first, we're always going to want to make sure that we have our receiver with the highest release rating on the left side of the screen. A receiver like a Kenny Britt, a Dwayne Bowe, an Andre Johnson, a Calvin Johnson, a Greg Jennings, and so on and so forth, is a receiver that I always want to make sure that I have when I'm running this scheme, even like a Reggie Wayne or something like that. Um, just knowing that your receiver is going to be able to beat the press um, a large majority of the time when it's press coverage is something that I really feel like I need to have just because I want to make sure that I always have all of my options open. So the only adjustment that we're going to make is going to depend on that left cornerback. If he's playing off coverage, we're going to leave the X route on that curl. If he's playing press coverage, we're going to want to put X on a streak. And as you'll see in the gameplay footage, a large majority of the time with these types of wide receivers, we are going to beat the press. And when we do, that's when we're going to throw in the ball. Now, unfortunately, in practice mode, this route actually never, ever, ever, ever beats the press. Literally, I sat in here for 20 minutes just messing around with the play a little bit, and not once did I beat the press. Uh, every time I was coming out in two-man under type defenses and they were pressing like this, I was never able to beat it. I even went as far as to put in Chad Owens in that spot on the left cornerback. He's got a 51 press rating. Kenny Britt's release rating is a 94. So you're just going to have to trust that in-game, we are going to be able to beat that press a large majority of the time if we do have that type of receiver. So um, before I move on to some of the other routes, uh, because this is not something that I can show you because of that, I do just want to talk about what we're going to do. So if he beats the press right off the line, what we want to do is we just want to throw a quick pass, even in behind the safety. Now, if for whatever reason they don't have a safety deep, of course they're going to be toast, and we're going to score a lot of touchdowns that way. If they do have the safety deep, once we do beat that press coverage, we're just going to want to throw a quick pass um, without any pass lead and just get in between that corner and in between the safety, maybe around that 20-yard line area. Uh, sometimes we will need to pass lead to the outside. Again, you'll see in the gameplay footage that a lot of times I'm picking up major yards because of the safety bites it down over the middle of the field. We just want to pass lead away from the safety more to the sidelines and we're going to pick up big yards. So I just wanted to go over that first because again this is not something that I'm going to be able to show you in practice mode unfortunately because it just doesn't work which is why I always show gameplay footage. People out there that show tips just in practice mode I just can't trust it. It's nothing against them or anything and I'm sure some of these plays work and they use them in game but if you're just seeing tips in practice mode I just I can't do it. So um, again Take note from the gameplay footage, and uh, now we're going to move on to the next routes. Slot seam is such a great play just because all of the routes really go great together, but really the main thing that I love about it is pretty obvious. These two routes out of the backfield are just absolute money. We've got the Y route that's going to torch almost any zone defense in the game. The RB route is going to torch man defense. So what I've done is I've set up a couple zone defenses here, and we're just going to show that really we're going to be able to beat almost any zone defense in the game. All we want to do is throw a bullet pass as soon as uh, the Y route reaches the line of scrimmage, and we're going to pick up anywhere from five to as many yards as we can imagine here. So we pick up an easy five yards right there. Now the reason I love this route so much is because zone defenses, they don't really recognize running backs out of the backfield until they've at least reached the line of scrimmage. As you can see here, we've got Y running right up the middle of the field and they don't even recognize him until he reaches the line of scrimmage or in this case until we actually throw the ball as soon as he, we throw the ball that's when they recognize and make a play on the ball so we pick up five yards without even breaking a sweat you know there's really nothing that they can do uh, that play is never going to get picked no matter you know how close that looked or not it's just never really going to get intercepted and we're going to pick up five yards now the computer is always going to make the perfect play on defense, 
But when it comes to user defenders, uh, you know, there's always going to be mistakes. We're going to break tackles. We're going to be able to pick up more than five yards. Again, that's something that you're going to see in the gameplay footage. So let me just go ahead and set up a different defense here. Again, all zone defenses I'm going to show you, and it's just really something that just works the same way. As soon as he gets to the line of scrimmage, it doesn't matter whether he is uh, his icon is lit or not. We're just going to be able to throw the ball. And, of course, depending on the zone defense, is going to depend on how many yards we're going to be able to pick up over the middle of the field. As you can see right here, it was a little bit of a different type of defense. So we have a little bit bigger of a hole, and we're able to go for a good uh, 13 to 14 yards. So again, let me go and set up a different zone defense. So we'll go to cover two this time. And again, we're going to see that it is the same thing. Now, uh, for cover two, I do want to make sure that I have X on a streak. Uh, again, because we're seeing press coverage, so we're always going to want to do that. But we're just going to wait till our guy gets to the line of scrimmage. We're going to throw a bullet pass, and we're going to pick up a ton of yards. Um, so again, you know, versus zone defense, this is just something that the Y route is going to be open, 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 open. They're going to have to use or defend it. There's really nothing that they can do. And this is just one route. So again, you know, mixing in mesh, mixing in halfback screen, the halfback draw, it's just going to give our opponent headaches. And I've really only covered that one route out of the backfield so far. So now let's move on to that next route. Now against man-to-man -man defense, that's where we're going to be able to hit this shake route out of the backfield. So let me set up a man defense. Just a two-man under, you know, not like a cover one or anything like that. A two-man under, the best type of man defense in the game. We do have Jared Cook out of the backfield. That's a very good option. You know, he's got uh, pretty good speed. His agility isn't the greatest. You know, a guy like Jermichael Finley or Aaron Hernandez or something like that, or Gromkowski out of the backfield is probably going to be one of your better options. But Jared Cook is kind of like an in-between. So... Uh, once we look at Y, okay, the reason I love these two routes, they really go hand in hand because we're going to take a look at Y, and by the time that we see that it's man defense, we're just going to easily go from Y, and we're going to then be able to hit RB. So let's just go ahead and take a look. We look at Y. He's completed his shake route, and again, we pick up five or six yards. It's also going to depend on what type of defender, the linebacker, you know, just sometimes at random, uh, this shake route will get open pretty much every time versus man defense. The only difference is how much. Sometimes he's just going to get just enough separation to pick up the you know four to five yards, or he's really going to torch his defender, and that's when you're going to be able to get yards after the catch. So as you can see here, we look and we see that defender is playing man defense, so we're not going to throw it a Y. And by the time we look off Y, it's the perfect time to then look at RB because he's finished making his shake route. And that's when we're just going to be able to throw in the ball. So, you know, it's all about timing. It's like that New England Patriots playbook. Uh, you know, Bill Belichick, his whole offense, or just that whole team, whoever's running the offense, it's all about timing. And those are the types of things that I've shown you over the last couple of weeks that we really want to take advantage of. As soon as you're done first read, that timing of the second read being available is extremely important. So again, we see that he beats his defender and we're just able to pick up five or six yards. So I'm not going to go any further on this. Really, it's just going to be the same versus any types of man defense. We're going to look at why. If it's man defense, we're going to look at RB, and we're going to be able to pick up our yards. Now, when it comes to beating press coverage on the outside, one thing that I really want you guys to pay attention to is the gameplay footage. Because I wasn't able to show you in practice mode the exact time that we're just going to throw a bullet pass to our receiver when he beats press coverage, is at what time do I throw the ball? Because let's just say that X, Kenny Britt, destroys this man, and he gets four to five yards of separation right off the line, right off the bat. Well, if we throw the ball a little too quick, even though our receiver has destroyed his man, uh, that defender is still going to be in the area. Because we're throwing the ball so quick, uh, that defender still might be able to make a play on the ball. So we want to make sure that our receiver gets downfield just a little bit before we throw that route. Now here, I'm facing a cover two. So again, I really want you to focus on that in the gameplay footage. Just take a look at when I'm throwing that ball. Here versus a cover two does kind of give us somewhat of an example of what it's like to beat press coverage because our defender on the outside is in a cover two, so he's in a flat zone, and our receiver's kind of just going to blow by him a little bit, and it's going to give us an idea of you know where the safety's playing and when we're going to throw the ball and the type of cushion that we're going to get. 
So, you know, against the zone defense, again, a cover two, we're going to be able to throw this Y route in there all game long, as long as they're not user defending it against any zone. But uh, once I see a press coverage here and I put my wide receiver on a streak, I have to admit that a lot of the times that's what I'm focusing on because I know that if I'm going to beat that press, you know, we're just going to be able to kill them all day long with that. And if it's a cover two, we're going to be able to do the same thing. So let's just go ahead and take a look. Uh, this is something that will happen versus man defense as well. You're going to hit that uh, that little seam area where we're going to be able to pass lead to the sideline and pick up a touchdown. So as you can see here, we're just going to pass lead away from the safety once our receiver gets into that open space, and we're going to pick up a ton of yards. So again, uh, what's happening here is I'm going to take a look at this route. It's press coverage. Now, I'm always going to assume that it's man defense. I see that it's man, okay, so we're getting pressed, we're getting pressed, and at this point, I know that it's zone defense. So all I'm gonna do then is stay patient. We're either gonna beat the press and throw the ball in such a manner that we do versus man defense when we beat the press, or I'm gonna stay patient, I'm gonna wait until he gets right in his zone, and then, you know, sometimes depending on, you know, maybe there's no safety or maybe the safety's playing over the middle of the field if it's like a cover three type situation or whatever maybe we'll just throw the ball but against a cover two i see that all i'm going to need to do here and again it is a very easy read this is not difficult we're just going to pass lead to the corner because pass leading i mean we're leading our receivers into the areas of the field that we want that's what we want to take advantage of so again just pass lead to the outside and pick up an easy touchdown despite the fact that there were two safeties deep. This does look like a two-man under, and we're just able to get right into the coverage, right into the area of the field that we want, and pick up the yards that we want. And again, you know, throwing this route out of the backfield is something that we're going to be able to do all day long. Pick up, you know, 5, 10, 15 yards. And again, let's take a look at this cover too. It's going to be the same thing almost every time. The safety, as you can see there, stayed home a little bit. So we definitely need to make reads. You know, uh, it is easy, but a cover two defense, depending, is going to play a little bit different. See, he's more on the outside there, so maybe I would pass lead to the inside. So that's really what you want to pay attention to. As soon as you see that it's a cover two, and it's all going to depend on that uh, flat route on the outside. So again, he's playing outside. We just pass lead to the inside, and we're able to pick up a ton of yards. So you're really just looking at the corner, then your next progression is looking at the safety. Again, he's playing outside, so we just pass lead to the inside. And I don't know what's up with Kenny Britt. Practice mode, guys dropping every ball known to man. But in-game, you will see that we will make those catches. Again, he's playing to the outside, and Jake Locker makes a terrible pass, but we're just going to throw to the inside. So first read, look at that corner. Are we going to beat that man press, and when are we going to throw the ball? Oh, it's not man. We see that it's zone. Next is look at the safety. Is he inside? Is he outside? And that's when we're going to know when to pass lead. And we're just going to torch that coverage. Now, I always have faith in the user defender. You know, playing against a lot of very good opponents, if I get to that point where I see that it's man defense, you know, if he's controlling the safety on that side of the field, to be quite honest with you, I'll probably just stay away from it. We have way too effective routes from Y and RB. And even A and B can definitely do a lot of damage. That there's no sense in throwing the ball into the user defended area unless we really think that pass leading is going to mess them up just enough that we're going to be able to complete the pass so again uh x y and rb are just three routes three progression reads that we're going to be able to go x y and rb literally in that order all the way across the field and a is just a route that's got great timing uh mixed in with some of these other routes if i'm looking for y and it's zone defense uh, and someone comes down and uses that area of the field, by the time A gets open, that's I'm going to be done that read, and that's when I'm going to be able to look at A and be able to make a play downfield. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cover two zone again. This is a perfect example because what we're going to do is we're going to face um, press coverage on the outside, and once we recognize that it's zone defense, we're going to be able to hit X all day long against a cover two with either pass lead to the outside or pass lead to the inside. But if our opponent is using that area of the field trying to shut down X and its zone defense, then we're just going to be able to hit A over the middle of the field, assuming that we're not hitting Y out of the backfield. So again, uh, if they're protecting the left, we're going to hit 
A. If they're protecting the right side of the field, we're just going to hit X. When it comes to zone defense, they're really not going to have too much of a choice. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what X does. As you can see, he's just, just annihilating that zone coverage. As you can see, you know, we have a streak on the left side of the field. And unless our opponent's going to play the guessing game, he's just going to have to stay over there. Because if he doesn't, take a look. We're just going to pass lead to the outside of the inside, and we're going to be able to make a play. There's really not too much that he's going to do unless he cheats. And if he cheats, well, he's going to pay the price. So this A route is just going to do a fantastic job of just being able to give us either option on either side of the field. You know, last year I showed a great play called wide receiver corners. And it was all about the type of uh, defense that we saw. And it was if the defender was on one side, we would just throw to the opposite side. It was all about just reading that user defender. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this play right here. As you can see, just take a look. We can hit either route. It's all going to depend where's that user defender. We want to stay away from him to, you know, give us a better opportunity of not throwing an interception and him not being able to make a play. And we're just going to be able to torch the defense all game long. And A is just a route that's got great timing uh, mixed in with some of these other routes. If I'm looking for Y and it's zone defense uh, and someone comes down and uses that area of the field, by the time A gets open, that's I'm going to be done that read and that's when I'm going to be able to look at A and be able to make a play downfield. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cover two zone again. This is a perfect example because what we're going to do is we're going to face... Um, press coverage on the outside and once we recognize that it's zone defense we're going to be able to hit x all day long against a cover two with either pass lead to the outside or pass lead to the inside but if our opponent is using that area of the field trying to shut down x and it's zone defense then we're just going to be able to hit a over the middle of the field assuming that we're not hitting y out of the backfield so again uh, if they're protecting the left we're going to hit a if they're protecting the right side of the field we're just going to hit X. When it comes to zone defense, they're really not going to have too much of a choice. So let's just go ahead and take a look at what X does. As you can see, he's just, just annihilating that zone coverage. As you can see, you know, we have a streak on the left side of the field. And unless our opponent's going to play the guessing game, he's just going to have to stay over there. Because if he doesn't, take a look. We're just going to pass lead to the outside of the inside, and we're going to be able to make a play. There's really not too much that he's going to do unless he cheats. And if he cheats, well, he's going to pay the price. So this A route is just going to do a fantastic job of just being able to give us either option on either side of the field. You know, last year I showed a great play called wide receiver corners. And it was all about the type of uh, defense that we saw. And it was if the defender was on one side, we would just throw to the opposite side. It was all about just reading that user defender. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this play right here. As you can see, just take a look. We can hit either route. It's all going to depend where's that user defender. We want to stay away from him to, you know, give us a better opportunity of not throwing an interception and him not being able to make a play. And we're just going to be able to torch the defense all game long. Now, because it's my opinion that cover two sync is the best standalone zone defense in the entire game, 
I always like to show what uh, some of my plays on offense can do against a defense like a cover two sink. You know, in the Madden community, this is a play that's run quite a bit. It does a great job against a lot of very popular uh, route combinations. Um, the thing that's even more effective about uh, using this against a cover two sink is that in order to stop Y and RB, uh, the user defender is pretty much going to have to play down near the line of scrimmage. And anytime we can force our opponent to play near the line of scrimmage, that's just a great opportunity to be able to throw the deep ball. Or they're going to have to protect the left side of the field and cover X. So again, just a great opportunity to take advantage of that A route. And let's go ahead and snap the ball and take a look at what that A route is going to do against a cover two sink. Absolutely wide open. So anytime we get our opponent cheating, trying to call a defense like this, um, you know, because cover two sink is a great defense, but it really doesn't do any type of uh, coverage against this play. As you can see, not only is A running wide open deep for a touchdown, but look at the routes out of the backfield, even still wide open. This is something that we're going to be able to hit all day long. So every once in a while, as long as we're patient enough or we find that our opponent is going to come down to the line of scrimmage and try to make a play on the ball, as soon as I see that, I might hesitate and think, oh, well, as soon as I hesitate and he's in a cover two sink, that's even worse for him because now he's made me hang onto the ball and make me look downfield, and that's when I notice that A route running wide open, and we're just able to pick up a ton of yards. So slot seam is just a really good play that I love to run. You know, this is something that I ran since the demo. Uh, even in my demo impressions, I talked about this play and how effective it was. And I've been meaning to do a video for it all year long, but I just never got around to it. And, you know, once I did halfback screen and mesh out of the same formation, I just thought, you know what? I mean, I have to show them slot seam because a four-play mini scheme with slot seam, halfback screen, mesh, and halfback draw is hell to defend against. I don't care who you are. This whole four-play mini scheme is absolute hell to uh, defend against. So... Uh, I hope you liked the video this week, guys. Um, it's, you know, I mean, I've been running this uh, all year long, and I, I just love it. I mean, just look at this. There's just anything that you can do, man. You can just hit these routes all day long. Just all day long you can hit these routes. So go ahead and don't just take it to practice mode. Uh, you know, maybe throw a couple reps out of the backfield to some of these routes in practice mode. Then just take it to the field, and I promise you are going to have a lot of success. So anyways, I will see you guys next time. Instructions. From the gun. He'll fire it out to the left. Oh, target. The ball's down as they head to the line. Trying to work that left side. He brings it in here, and he's got the ball. What he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. Touchdown. Changing the play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. In the book, hollering out instructions. Snap back to the quarterback out of the gun. Breaks another tackle. Runs out of bounds. They'll go shotgun here. The quarterback throws the pass and he's brought down here. A split backfield. First and ten. Trying to work the middle of the field. Beautiful catch. Get this pass incomplete. And it brings up third down. Airing it out. There's a receiver there, and the catch is made. That'll put them in his team's attention here. First and ten. He's looking to the right here on this throw. They bring him. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Challenging the defenders to the right side. And it's Julius Peppers' drive. Third down and ten. He'll fire it out to the left. On the spot. The Dolphins. Drop back. Shotgun formation. He'll fire it out to the left. Right where it had to be. The defensive line is spreading out. Launching it deep. What a... The play to the receivers by giving him hand signals. And he makes the catch just past the first down marker. Good piece of tackle down here after that run play. The throw to the left. He brings it in here, and he's got the throw. Here after the completion. Step back to the quarterback. Out of the gun. 
The Redskins get a first down. He's got the touchdown. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop. And this will go back to the offense. Back, He doesn't like what he sees on the defensive side, so he is changing. He's in the end zone. Down on the way. They'll go shotgun here, getting away from the pressure. On the target. Knocked out of the formation here for the defense. He'll fire it out to the left. Challenges the coverage and has the completion. And he's pushed out. Now looking at third down. Quarterback taking the snap from the shotgun. Trying to work that left side. What a catch. Not giving up another inch. Big signals. Good job by the defensive line shifting all down inside. I think they're expecting a run up the middle. Games 20. Pitching down the field right now. First and 10. Looks to his left. Right where it had the Second down and five. Trying to work that left side. Touchdown! Nowadays, these receivers can do it. Third and nine. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Reggie Wayne makes the catch. Now it's given to the receiver outside. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. Good job by the receiver that time. Second and 12, working that left side. Makes <laughs> his mark in traffic. Third and short, looking across the middle. He's got the grab. He's got the first. Top. It's now second down. Working that left side. That catch will extend the drive. Gets past the first wave. Seattle is it. Out of the gun. He'll throw it over the middle. In zone, best will not back off. Play number six coming up on this drive. The quarterback. Touchdown! The corners are going to meet the receivers right on the line of scrimmage. Makes the grab. Down on the way. They'll go shotgun here. The quarterback throws the pass. Right down Broadway. And he's brought to the... The corners retreating. Here, a split backfield. Drop back, shotgun formation. Trying to work the middle of the field. Always aware of the change. He's got the catch. Nickel formation here for the defense. Trying to work that left side. That pass play. Picks up the first down. Yeah.